Hey, welcome. Thanks for nice. us. Absolutely, welcome. Yeah. Hey, fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well, and today we are in West Sacramento at Koi Enterprise. And for me, this is heaven. I'm right now standing in front of this 10,000 gallon koi pond that we just had a full tour of this facility here. And uh, I thought we would, this would be a great time to kind of talk about koi fish. Now, before we go around and look at some of the koi ponds in the back, I do want to thank the sponsor of this video, Into the AM. You can see I'm wearing one of my favorite t-shirts. It happens to be a koi fish design. They've got all kinds of amazing designs on their website. So check out Into the AM. Into the AM just launched their fall collection and I love what they've added to their store. They've launched great color selections of their pullover hoodies, Henleys, and button-ups. I've also had a chance to wear their joggers and it might be one of the comfiest pants that I have. They also have their not-so-normal graphic tees and other bestsellers here. Go check out Into the AM if you want to upgrade your wardrobe and elevate your style. They have basic tees for a lesser minimal look and their graphic tees if you want to stand out. Be sure to click the link down below for a 10% discount. They also have packs if you're planning to buy a bunch and save more as it stacks with my coupon code. Thank you to Into the AM. This is actually a facility where they import fish, they sell fish retail, they ship fish all around the country, they have a live auction that's uh, online, and um, we had a chance to talk to Anthony, the owner, and kind of walk around and uh, learn about this facility. So if you want to watch that video, that will be on the Aquarium Co-op channel. But I did want to talk about koi fish because I love koi fish. Now you guys know, hopefully you know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, or if you don't know, and you're new to my channel, I have a koi pond. That's not really a pond. It's like a 500 gallon thing that I made on my patio out of plywood and two by fours and pond liner. And um, I actually have one koi fish in there with some shabunkins. And, um, but I've always wanted to have a koi pond. I've always wanted to have a large pond in my house or in my yard where I could basically like build like a nice, you know, garden around it and have some beautiful koi fish. But I learned today a couple things and I thought I would share that with you. So first off, koi fish do get large. So in a normal situation, you're gonna wanna have them in a pond. You're not gonna wanna keep them in a small tub or an aquarium. Although there are people that keep like stunted or kind of uh, like bonsai koi, they're smaller koi that don't grow as large or you can keep juvenile koi in smaller aquariums or, or smaller tubs. But uh, what I learned today from Anthony, who actually studied in Japan, he's actually um, like an international koi judge and everything, that you can actually have them in systems as small as like 250 gallons, like a regular size koi, like 250 gallons up to three to four to 500 gallons. So uh, that was kind of new to me as far as keeping them in a pond that's only 250 gallons. So. Very exciting, because a lot of people would like to get koi. Maybe you live in a warmer area where you don't have, uh, you know, the ability to have a big giant pond, but you can keep, you know, a relatively, you know, moderate sized tub outside. And if you have three or 400 gallons, you too can keep koi fish. When you say pond, there's a lot that goes into that. So I encourage people to do their research and see what type of pond are you really looking for? What, what is your goal? I say koi ponds are very much there to display the koi fish. Think of your pond like a canvas and think of your koi fish as the art, the color. So here's an example of a small pond. This is actually something that they built. Uh, the owner and his son built this when his son was very little. And all of these fish in here, the, his uh, son selected for himself. Now, if you have a small backyard, you could easily you know, build something like this if you live in a warmer climate. And uh, I think he said this was around 250 or 300 gallons, something like that. So not a very large pond. He did say that it's a little bit overstocked and that they are gonna have to make the pond a little bit bigger or maybe move out some of the larger fish, but there are several koi fish in there. So maybe if you had a, a pond of this size, maybe you have two or three of them in there, maybe some shabunkins or some goldfish, but again, a, a very nice kind of a water feature. He's got a waterfall that's obviously helping with filtration and oxygenation and uh, there's some floating plants there and just a really nice beautiful way to keep koi fish without needing a 10,000 gallon or 20,000 gallon pond just something small that you can put up pretty much in any backyard i'm 
mostly we try to keep it a one or two year old. Right. I'm not afraid to hold my fish to make sure that we have the absolute healthiest fish. Right. And I built it so that we can extend the greenhouse forward. Now one thing that is important that you're going to have to think about if you're going to keep koi in a backyard is predation. Basically, these are fish and to some animals they are tasty snacks. Maybe it's going to be a raccoon, maybe it's some type of bird of prey. Probably number one would be the egret or the heron. Uh, that's the, the big crane and it's protected here in California so there's not much you can do about it other than deter it possums, skunks, um, we have kingfishers, a different type of bird that will go for, for the fish as well. One thing that you want to make sure of is that the pond is deep enough. So even if you are going to have a small backyard pond, try to have it deep enough to where an animal's not going to be able to just go in there and grab it. Deeper is better, so 24 inches is kind of a minimum, but uh, Anthony, the owner here, recommends 36 inches deep is a lot better. Uh, having a sheer side, meaning that uh, you don't have like a gradual uh, slope into the into the pond but more so a straight drop that will make sure that you know animals like a raccoon are not going to be able to just go in there and grab a fish because it's too deep for them to just swipe something where if it's shallower they could wade in and obviously get a fish so make sure that uh, you're you're putting your pond somewhere safe from animals uh, obviously if you're if it's like on some kind of raised platform or something that can help if it's close to a building that might help with certain birds if they don't want to you know land near a building which is what helps me in my area you know maybe come up with a way of keeping them without having to have it all covered um, and having sheer sides and a deeper pond is going to help i say with koi fish make sure that you're a good match by doing your research whether that's the internet whether that's a good koi book or whether that's joining the local koi club there's koi clubs all over the United States and all parts of the world. So I encourage you, do a quick Google search, see if you find a koi club. Remember, they probably made the mistake, so learn from their mistakes before you make costly ones of your own. I like to keep this posted up here so that people are like, oh, I really want a red and you know black. So that was a lot of fun. I love this place. I love koi fish. I love ponds. I love yards. I love nature. And uh, this just kind of incorporated all of that. Uh, hopefully this has inspired you or maybe given you some ideas on what you can do as far as koi fish is concerned. I do want to shout out Hawaiian fish keeper. Mel actually recommended this place to Matt. Uh, he actually has a, a nice koi pond in his backyard now. He's remodeled that thing a little bit. So uh, if you want to see more about backyard koi ponds, you can check out Mail. I'll put his uh, channel down below. Um, but with that, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you're watching this far and if you haven't subscribed already, please do. It really does help. Check out this other video about koi ponds and we'll catch you on the next one.